Hi there, my favorite crafty buggers, and welcome to the mess of my humble establishment. First, I want to thank my patron Sash, aka Drevanachas, for giving me the idea for this episode. So, let's delve into the creation of the character background. In the first episode, the good player spoke about drives and motives, and this should be like the continuation of that story. There is some basic archetypes within the game, no matter which setting you're playing in. I'm not talking about the archetypes of Carl Gustav Jung, uh, even though it's a very interesting topic. I'm talking about the in-game archetypes, such as healer, booster, damage per second, tank, crowd control, and such. The drives and motives of your player character becoming what they are is the why of the background. But today we are talking about the how of the background, meaning justifying your starting position as a player. Let's first talk about your player character stats. For instance, if your character had a high intelligence score, but maybe low constitution score or a strength score, they might have been a sickly child who spent most of their time uh, laying in bed, uh, reading books and uh, maybe visiting the library instead of fighting with the other children and doing all sorts of shenanigans that another character that has a high strength score maybe should do. Or, for example, if your character has a high dexterity score and a low wisdom score, let's say, they could have been an adrenaline junkie as a kid, you know, uh, tightrope walking, not thinking about it too much, uh, not thinking about the possible consequences of it. Or if your player character had a high charisma score, it could maybe mean that they just learned how to get attention from the other people. If you think about the skills that your player character starts with, think about how they learn those skills. If your player character was a smooth talker, a diplomatic personality, they might have been in all different sorts of situations that they have to talk their way out of trouble. Or if your player character is a more intimidating personality, they would have most probably be threatening their way out of trouble. If you're a knowledgeable person, you would have most probably spent most of your time in the library or learning from a mentor or something like that. Spending a lot of time by the river or by the sea could be the reason why your character learned how to swim. Or on the other hand, spending a lot of time at the mountains would be the reason why your character learned how to climb that good. Or speaking about the weapons, maybe your character's weapon of choice are their fists because they spent their childhood in a fight club or something like that. Or if your character's weapon of choice is a bow, they might have been from a family of hunters, or wielding a sword could mean that your character derives from a long legacy of fencers or something like that. If your character maybe has a problem with a particular race, it could just mean that they were brought up that way, or it could mean that the members of that race attacked their village or city or whatever a long, long time ago and they're still that hatred and dispute going on. Maybe your character was brought up by fey folk and that's why they're chaotic. Or maybe they're brought up by goblins and that's why they're evil or something. Or maybe your character is a half-orc and never knew their father because their mother was raped. There is so many options to think about and there is so many options to put in your character's background. But I would like to mention just one more thing, and that's the hero's journey. Now, the hero's journey is the adventure that you're gonna play, that your DM is gonna take you through. But the beginning of the hero's journey, the departure, is going to be yours. The story of why your character left their comfort zone is yours and yours only. Of course, you will have to talk to the DM in order for them to know how to implement your background story into the game. But you have the creative freedom to bring your character to life that way. I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. You can give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you're watching my videos for the first time. Of course, there is my Instagram and my Facebook page, as well as my Patreon page. I would really appreciate if you would back me up. And as always, this is Crafty, and I bid you farewell.